This is the bridge on the Weeping Rock Trail. Um, and one of the things that we're doing here is trying to clear this drainage so that as material washes down off the mountain, it can move into the drainage and back down into the Virgin River and be transported downstream and down canyon. This trail did not sustain a ton of damage from the original rock avalanche. It's not buried that deep. A lot of the damage came down here just from the force of that avalanche hitting the ground. Um, trees were knocked over, equipment that was parked in the parking lot was damaged. Um, there were hikers on this trail who were injured, not because they were struck by rocks, but because they were struck by the mass of air that was generated when that big rock slab hit the slope and rolled down in the dust cloud. The debris pile you see behind me is not a result of the original rock avalanche. This is all material that has come down as the, as the rain has hit it and as things have rolled down. Right after the avalanche, this bridge was at the depth of the canyon over here. And that area has now all filled up. Um, so our trail crew is working to clear this drainage so that material can move through here without further damaging this bridge. Where we're standing is where a lot of the debris is coming down, so it changes pretty rapidly. Um, and if we tried to put a trail through it, it would get continually buried. Um, by opening this channel up underneath, hopefully the debris can move under the bridge. This trail is a historic trail. It was constructed in the 1930s. Um, so we've been looking at um, which sections are buried, and there may also be sections that just don't exist anymore, that were blasted into ledges that were popped loose when the rock avalanche hit them and slid them down the slope. Um, we've noticed in the debris slope there are some chunks of concrete. Um, we know those came from trail tread surfaces further up the slope. Um, so we won't know the full extent of damage until we are able to begin um, uncovering sections of the trail and assessing if the tread slope is still there or if it's been lost. We don't have a trail open date yet. We're still collecting data on frequency of rock stall. We're still trying to get a better sense of what techniques we might be able to use to minimize risk um, to our workers on the slope and to people hiking it later, um, both as we clear it and once it's open, um, and getting a better sense of what it will take to clear all of this debris balanced in a very precarious place in a landscape that's constantly changing. <laughs>